Look at that. That was cool. We got the whole animation riding in on the chopper. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. Today, we return, and today is the day that we complete the chopper. But along with that, you guys in the comments seem to be very interested in me popping open some good old-fashioned, uh, whatchamacallit, some good old-fashioned crates. So we got a couple of things on the smorgasbord. We got the chopper, we got the crates. So why don't we begin by putting together this thing, because I am itching for a britching. But, oh, wait. We're still a couple, just a couple of parts short. Not that many. We just need a couple of engine parts, which is also another reason I want to do a little bit of an unboxing with you guys. But before I do that, uh, whatchamacall, before I do that, like I said, I just thought, okay, well, I got to open up a couple of things here for the transport. Anyway, we got to get some engineer packs. See, if we buy 10, we get a bit of a discount, too. However, I'm not that desperate. All I need is just, like, five engine parts. Actually, not even five. I need a couple. I've just been having a huge amount of trouble trying to find them. So we're going to open these up until hopefully we can get at least... Give me the engine parts. Come on. Yes! We got the engine parts and some food and stuff. I didn't know you could get food in these things, but... I guess you can, so I guess that's the way it works. You get one random item from here. We really lucked out because we got the randomest item that we needed the most. And along with that, you do get the juicy steak and some iron ore. So I'll take that. I'll take that engine part to the bank. And that means that we can put this thing together. Finally! Okay, we do need a couple more rubber parts, actually. Good thing we still have even more. But we can finally finish this thing. And while we are finishing this, we then can put the rest of the engine parts, the chopper fork, and finalize. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to my baby. We got ourselves a chopper. Ooh la la. Check that out. We got some extra rubber parts too and stuff that we'll put back up in here. But check, check, check it. So I'm going to continue to pour in a little bit more gas all the way to the point where it's full. And I can actually put a pattern on it. Ooh. Ooh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay, we're going to fandangle with the rest of the chopper here in a sec. Another thing I want to do is to open up a ton of weapon box we're going to be doing a huge modified weapon unboxing we're getting 10 of these for the cost of 600 which means that we pretty much get like two of them for free normally 600 would buy us eight if we bought it a bunch at, or one at a time well guess what papa star over here i want to show you guys you know maybe how lucky boxes are you know if it might be worth it if not and i actually have a really cool video that you guys make sure to keep an eye out on on how to get free crates and coins it's 100 percent legit I cannot wait to show you guys. I'm trying to keep it low-key. I'm trying to find the right time, but kind of get excited. I think within the next couple of videos, that'll be coming live. But anyways, let's buy 10 with the coins. We got the inbox, and we got 10 modified weapons boxes. All right. So, as you guys remember, we can get a whole ton of modifications. We can get either the AK, the M16, or the Glock. Each of them come with a different attachment. We have the suppressor. We have the laser sight. The laser sight actually adds, like, three damage, which is kind of nice. The... I don't know what the sight does, and the extended mag, I'm guessing, makes it break a little bit slower. But this one, if we could get a fully modified AK, that would be amazing. So, oh, three items inside the box, one of which was a modified weapon. So, if we open this, we get two extra items anyways. Oh, what's that? What's that? Okay, we got the highest damage AK. I'll take that. See, I don't know what the sight or the silencer does, but we also got a skull crusher and whatnot. All right, good start. Next up, what do we have? Okay, ooh, a fully modified Glock 17, 27 damage, that is not that bad, so what I think happens is that the laser sight, because the AK here does 15 base, and then it does 18 with the laser sight, uh, 15, 20% of 15 is 3, so that means it adds 20% damage, because this has 20, goes up to 24, which makes sense, this has 12, I'm gonna guess it goes up to like 14 or 15, Goes up to 14, check, check it. But you know what I wish these crates had? I wish they had, like, some sort of cool animation where, like, maybe it was, like, a giant flash of light. Also, we got another modified laser sight. Okay, okay, okay. But I wish they had, like, a flash of light or something. Make it a little bit more fun, a little bit more exciting. Because right now, it's, it's literally just boom. It's just it's just opening a box. Uh, extended mag. Okay, I kind of... See, I think the extended mag... Because that makes sense. Because when you fire a gun, the only thing that happens... Ooh, Illuminator sight. Uh, but the only thing that happens is that, you know, durability goes down. You don't actually have, quote-unquote, ammo. So I'm guessing that that's how it works. The durability is, quote-unquote, the ammo. And speaking of that, if you guys in the comment section know specifically what the silencer does or even what the, uh, what the sight does, go ahead. I would absolutely love to know if you guys would love to share that knowledge. If not, no worries. 
Either way, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Always want to toss that out there whenever I can. Because, hey, ooh, we got the pantalones. We got the pantalones. And 20 bandages. Not too shabby. See, I like that we get these two extra items with it. Like, obviously, we're opening it for this. Those two extra items are actually pretty nice. What else are we going to get out of this? We got, ooh, another culinator site. We're getting a lot of those sites for some reason. And what else? Ooh, another fully modded Glock. Okay. Okay, one last one. What do we have? And mas pantalones. These, oh, these are nicer pantalones. They are denim jean pantalones. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> but so I'm just going to leave most of this in here for now and probably... Uh, I might take out an AK or so because we'll probably go mess around try to get into some of the uh, harder areas with our chopper Maybe even further areas, but for the time being I'm going and I also have the rest of this m16 I would like to finish up with because it's about to break anyways, but this Glock Let's check it check it. Yeah, so we got the laser sight I, I seriously have no clue what the red dot could possibly do and this is a nice thing too if you fire and you don't hit anyone you guys told me this a couple episodes ago you don't actually use up any energy so it's kind of a good way to like practice i guess i don't know what you would practice on that actually be pretty cool is that a thing can you make like a training dummy that you could practice on without like breaking your stuff if so that would be super cool another thing that'd be super cool is the radio tower i might start investing in that pretty soon actually because we are like the right level we're like right about it might start being time. So to get the radio tower, we do, however, need some steel bars and oak planks. And I don't know if we can get those yet, unfortunately. Maybe, maybe not. I'll look into it a little bit. Maybe you guys can tell me in the comments. If you don't, no worries. I'll look into it. But if you do, hey, I appreciate the help. This is our series. We're going through this. And if you guys are helpful like that, it makes the series that much better. And I'd like to thank you in advance but anyways what we have now well actually another thing i want to do here is to get some more of my i seriously love that we got those band-aids that's probably the best like side thing we got besides maybe some of our clothes but the thing that i really want here is a little bit lower it's something that's been in here for a while some people said star you can't have stuff in your inbox you hacked it in i did not hack it in i i, I but to be fair you know some of you guys might be new this might be your first episode you're watching but the devs we're kind enough to actually hook it up and give me some coins in game to kind of like do fast travel and make it a little bit easier topping up bunkers and stuff because I'm I don't know I'm I am pretty busy in that I got YouTube going on I got school going on I got right now I'm traveling to freaking Germany and I'm still trying to make these videos so just that type of stuff so I can keep on giving you guys awesome content is absolutely amazing but another thing we can do here infected box required huh what is the infected box? I don't know what that is. Is that something we could get out of the, uh, not this stuff. Although the rare weapons, this is where you could get the uh, Vintoras and the minigun. You cannot get those two normally, though. You cannot get those in the unique weapon box, or the modified weapon box. And here in the guns, you can get a whole little bit of everything. But yeah, I'm surprised the shotgun doesn't have any attachments. But anyways, back to what I was actually saying, is I wonder if, is that, well, that's an amplifier. That's for, like, the radio tower and stuff. Hmm. I don't know what we could possibly need for that, but hey, I'm sure the time will come where we'll go ahead and figure it out. But I love this change that they made where everything in here pretty much costs gold, uh, except for, I think, just this one big summer pack, which is five dollars, but it comes with some good starter stuff. Oh, speaking of starter stuff, I got another thing in my inventory I wanted to open up. It's from when I was talking with the trader a little bit ago. We have, what is this? What is this? A little weapon crate. That's right. I always love whenever I do stuff with traders, I always like to save the boxes so we can open them and get severely disappointed not even a gun dude really a spike the devastator that's poopy but i guess we'll bring it along anyways i'm gonna get some food in me some food in my tum tum and we're gonna go and try to ride out on the chopper so what you guys have been saying about the chopper and how it works is apparently you can use fuel instead of stamina with the chopper so what that means is that in where it might take uh, stamina to normally go somewhere the chopper will allow you to do that without um without with the chopper will actually allow you to do that using just fuel and you guys saw again us uh fill fuel in and stuff we can actually put some stuff here in the baggage if we want so we can come in here oh i want to recolor it first let's do that i actually have a couple of spray patterns here some of them a little bit more rare than the others but yeah look at this we got the captain pattern the captain pattern the harvey or what is that yeah the harvey pattern oh that looks kind of cool and we can do it with different types of paint and here i think 
What paint do we do? Let me know in the comments what pattern and what paint you want us to do the chopper. If you're feeling extra nice, maybe scroll through the comments. Uh, like up comments that you think you agree with just so I can get a really good sense of what you guys want. But we got black, blue, green, red, and yellow, which looks pretty golden to me. Then we have the captain pattern and the Harvey pattern. Although, mm, I, I don't know. But you guys can see the little like preview there. I don't know. What the, the, the blue pattern literally just looks blue to me. <laughs> But I, I'm going to try out the Harvey pattern for now, and I'll go with black. Black seems... Actually, no. We only have one yellow, and yellow seems pretty freaking cool, so we'll do that. Also, we got the new code of the day. Doing it up Gary's way. Boom. You guys, you guys get that old meme? That old SpongeBob reference? No? Well, that's okay. Uh, so I can put the pattern down there, and oh, never mind. It's going to take some very specific stuff. To do certain patterns. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna be stockpiling a little bit of stuff. I wonder if we get the other pattern to work, though. Actually, you know what I think we could do? We, I think blue will work the best for now, just because we have like 12 blue paint and we should be able to paint up the chopper. But this is awesome. We're painting up our chopper. Actually, I think blue is the default paint, so uh, never mind. We've been bamboozled by ourselves. Can I at least pick this up and take it out? I can. Okay, good. We're going to be saving up for that yellow. That yellow seems to be pretty rare. I haven't seen too much of the yellow besides pretty much whatever we're doing now. But this is what our inventory is going to be looking like. This is what we're going to be trying to do. Let's head on over and try to demonstrate just how the chopper works. And hopefully have a little bit of fun. Yeah? Yeah, I think that is good. That is good. That's a very good. We will do this. We will do this well. We will celebrate with uh, guns, shooting zombies, and have a great time. Yes. But yeah, super sorry that uh, my audio might still be sounding a little bit different. I think maybe one more episode max of the audio sounding a bit different. Then I'll be back home from Germany, from Games.com. I'll talk about some of that stuff in other videos. Because uh, I've seen some really cool stuff here that I can't wait to make videos on. But in the meantime, here is the chopper. What we must do? We click on the chopper, and there's a new option called Drive. And what this does... Oh, you could already hear that noise. That noise is sounding good. But what happens, you guys actually saw, uh, what I did was, uh, well, it's not, it, it's not parked in the area. Ooh, a dealer, actually. That's pretty cool. But it wasn't parked in the building anymore. What actually happens is that it, um, the, after the first time it ends up being used, it just is always going to be on the edge of the map, whichever edge you show up on. As you can see as well, you end up using fuel instead of energy. So... What this means, if you guys remember, a really cool, or like a thing about Last Day on Earth. Doesn't it always seem like the coolest things show up whenever you're out of energy, right? So what you might actually be able to do here is use up your energy tr to try to get some cool things like this thing to show up. And then you can just drive there. Driving is actually even faster than running, by the way, which is super handy. I don't think it unlocks any new places, though, because I think we might need to finish the ATV or something, which is the next thing we're going to be starting construction on. But all of this stuff is across the river, so we cannot get there. But you can see driving does shave like a solid almost 50% off the time. But like I was saying, with a bunch of cool things like the dealer show up after you start running a little bit low on stamina. So what that means is that maybe... Oh, there you can see the usage of it, though. It looks like it uses up about a couple fuel every second. Let's say this is... What was this? The equivalent of traveling. Let's say we just traveled 31 lightning bolt stamina worth. And we used up 59. So right about twice as much fuel as energy, you can see. And you also have twice as much fuel as base energy. But like I said, the really cool thing about that is that if some really cool things start popping up around the map... You can just use the motorcycle to try and get there. And you can even see we have that cool little icon. So, let's enter on in. Is there like a cool animation or something for me entering on in? That would be pretty cool. Come on. Come on. Give me the animation. And a good gun. Although I'm not going to be getting... Oh, look at that. Look at that. That was cool. We got the whole animation riding in on the chopper. But... Mr. Dealer, I now have a chopper. I have a fully modified Glock. What do you have to say about yourself? You're naked. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I have, I am like a military man out here with all this stuff. What do you want, by the way? Ooh. Ooh. See, now this is a trade that I am skeptical to do. All of this stuff, I have a lot of, except rubber parts. I only have five of those, and rubber parts are a pain in the booty to get. Although, I think with the latest update, they did get a tad bit easier. Hmm. I will, I'll, I'll mull this over. I, I don't know if I'll do that. Maybe we'll get some more rubber parts through some other events we do. But uh, what we can actually do here is I'm pretty sure we can leave our motorcycle here. 
I don't think that's a good idea. I'm going to continue driving it around because I don't want to lose my motorcycle to like something stupid like the dealer disappearing. I don't know how that works, and I don't want to risk it to find out. I'm not going to risk it for the biscuit because in this case, baby, that biscuit is not worth the trouble. But why don't we go ahead, drive on back, see how things are looking, maybe rebuild the base a little bit, do a little bit of upkeep back at home since the zombies are always trying to, you know, poop on us and whatnot. And actually, I wonder, if we walk here, right, if we walk, will this, let, let's just speed it up to hell with it. What happens to the motorcycle? That's what I want to know. What happens to the motorcycle? If I somehow lost my motorcycle, so be it. I did it for YouTube. I did it for you guys. And I think I ought to have, oh, it's going to be a pain to get the gas tank, though, if it did disappear. I was going to say I could just use some of those coins I got. Oh, no. Okay. So even if we run here, we don't use up any fuel weirdly enough if we still come here with the bike and that's the really awesome thing is that since we're coming here with the bike not the infected box i don't know what the infected box does but that means that we pretty much have three extra storage spots that we can do that we can use anywhere that we go to loot and a lot of times i don't know i feel like that could have saved me one trip because i feel like sometimes i'm like there's like that one item that i really want to get you know but i can't because i have an inventory full of other things that i want i feel like that might fix this so Oh, look at that. That was nice. We took that thing out quickly. I wonder if the silencer maybe lets us do, like, sneak attack damage. No? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the aim down sight does. This is doing some pretty good damage. Oh, look at that. 24. Just four hits, these guys. Hell yeah. Especially in the bunker where every last point counts. A survivor is near. Ooh. We might get to shoot ourselves up a survivor. And a floater bloater. Hello, floater bloater, my friend. How do you do? Oh, I've only I haven't seen your kind since the bunker. It's been a long time. Guess what I came back with? And check this out. With the floater bloater, he's at 240 HP, right? So if we're using the modified Glock here, which also has more durability because of that extended mag, we're going to be getting... We're able to take this guy out in 10 hits instead of 12. Because when we do 20 damage, 20 times 12, 240. How much health he has. When we do uh, 24 damage, though, 24 times 10. Or wait, what math did I just do? Uh... 24 times 10 is enough to do it, or 20 times, what the hell, 20 times 12, yeah, 20 times 12 without the mod, and I, math is hard, okay, I'm not, I'm not ready to go back to school, don't make me do such hard maths, I think you guys can get what I'm saying, pretty much it takes exactly two less hits to do with this, so, ah, Jesus, I wasn't paying attention, I was making sure my computer didn't break, ah, the player's coming for me too, this is so bad, ah, Oh my god, he's in like full military armor too. This guy is kitted out. Good thing we came prepared. Hello. Ooh, I'll take some of that military gear. It's pretty worn down, but to hell with it. I'll take what I can get. Also go ahead and try to take a couple other things from here, including some more of these boxes. This one, I think we were in the middle of opening. Maybe it'll have some good stuff. Maybe it'll have the rubber parts. These are the boxes that have it. Unfortunately, it did not have it. And I'm going to go ahead and swap out a couple things here. Maybe get the ATV gas tank even, because I feel like that's we might need multiple of those. I have multiple back at home. I don't know if it's enough multiples, but I definitely have multiple. Oh, look at that. Able to take him out before he can even spit on me. That makes things so much easier. Get away, Grey Wolf. I can two-hit you. All right, but I think that's enough modified gameplay for now. I'm going to try to save these guns. I really wanted to use it to show off to you guys, but that's enough. Enough showing off. Enough showboating. Enough bragging. Nah, I'm sorry. I'm, if it came off as bragging, I am super sorry. Did not mean it to be that way. All right. I like being all happy and positive and stuff. And bragging, I don't know. Bragging doesn't seem all that positive. It seems positive for me. I don't know. I, like, I care more about positivity for everyone else, you know? That's the type of positivity that I'm interested in. And sweet mama. All these chests around here. Why don't we get... Oh, no, Mr. Grey Wolf. No, 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 no. Go away, go away. You don't want me. You don't know me. Let's see what's in this last chest. Then maybe book on out of here and continue weighing. Ooh, like look at this. Wires and stuff is pretty easy to get, all things considered. Uh, we'll just drink. We'll drink us a brewski here. Drink some more of those too. Or eat some more of those. Can I not? Oh, yeah, because beer makes you want to pee. All right, let's pee on the chest. <laughs> let's hope the zombies don't attack us while we're peeing. This is the worst time to get attacked. You ever been attacked while peeing? Probably not, because most of you guys lived. Oh, no. Of course the pee made me smelly. Oh, come on. I am not that smelly. Oh, and he's attacking me, too. Oh, I just used a medkit on accident as soon as I leveled up. This is the second time that has happened in this series. Are you serious? Oh, my God. Why would I want to quit the game? What is wrong with you? What, why would you even suggest such a such a shenanigans? What, 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 what is you saying, girl? 
What is you saying? Huh, all right. Well, after that near-death experience, things are still looking okay. Could be looking better. Could be looking 157 times worse. I will take the way that they're looking now, and I'll keep on trying to pick up everything that we can. I think we've left behind a couple of transistors at this point. This dude's going to be interested in me. Yeah, hello, Roman Zombie. I know. I'm smelly. I'll take a shower eventually. Don't worry about it. But we're leaving behind a couple of transistors here. Uh, I think maybe... What is this? This SWAT helmet? That is eh, not even the SWAT helmet. Even the tactical body armor. It's got right about the same durability. But the SWAT helmet is technically better. So I'll go pick up the transistors there. Pick them up from the chest. And I think there were even some transistors in the other chest right around here. Now I think when you're smelly, right? I think the way that it works is when enemies see you. If you look in the upper right hand corner. The first circle is kind of like your normal radius. And then the second circle is your smelly radius. So yeah, look at that. He picked us up right as soon as that middle circle on the radar got crossed there's a little heads up little tidbit for you guys maybe if you didn't know maybe if you're not used to being smelly and you're in an unfortunately smelly situation you know it might might save your life who knows and i want your guys' lives to be saved because you know if you're dead it's pretty hard to be happy well i, I mean uh, can't, can't really be happy or sad if you're dead you're kind of just dead but yeah i, I definitely prefer to be alive because then there's the hope for being happy and happy is a pretty dope thing to hope for and are you serious another player hello player oh no don't tell me i gotta use a medkit uh maybe i can take him out oh took him out just in time he broke my pants oh uncivilized swine how could you uh nothing really too good though yeah, I know I left behind some armor back there. It wasn't that good. Let's try and uh, dip a Roni out of here. The good thing, too, is that you can actually uh, just hit drive on this. And it takes you to the map. I don't know. You don't even have to walk outside of the map. Although, it doesn't matter because it's right on the edge of the map anyway. So, it's not going to make that much of a difference. But hopefully, since we ran here... Ooh, look at that. Ooh, is that something the other side of the map? Does this make a uh, happy star? All right. So, we're going to walk here. We'll drop off some things, and after that, I'm thinking we'll check out what's in the airdrop. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll see whatever's in here. I'll probably refill the chopper, too, as we continue to utilize it a little bit. And after that, I think things should be looking pretty fan-freaking good. Nah, they're going to be fan-freaking-tastic, let's be honest. But, yeah, I'm going to do kind of like that dirty work that no one wants to see me do. And we'll head on over to that airdrop, yay. All right, baby, we are ready to go ahead and start heading on back a little bit. We used up some fuel, but I think we should be good. We'll go ahead. We'll walk it on over to the airdrop. And from there, hopefully they'll deplete a ton of our energy. And maybe if we're lucky, what I'm really hoping for is we get a plane crash. Plane crashes are by far and away the most amazing thing ever. So if we could walk out of here with one of those, that would be dope. But in the meantime, we'll go ahead. We'll run to the airdrop over here right by Bunker Alpha, a place where we've also gotten ourselves quite a little bit of loot. But airdrops are good. I think I actually got a couple of rubber parts, so this might be good in funding, hopefully getting a weapon. Now, if that weapon is like another melee weapon, I swear I'm going to be so salty. I didn't know you could get melee weapons from those. I thought it was only guns. And here I am, gunless. After that one we opened today, I was so hyped. I'm like, yeah, we might get another gun on top of the 10 we just got. And it's like, nope, no, you get... You get a spike devastator. Oh, look at that. We're riding on in. That's another really cool thing that even when you ride on in, you don't, uh, even if you run here, you get the animation. Like anywhere you go, you get the animation. And the animation is honestly pretty cool. Just riding on in all swiggity swoogity coming for the swaggity. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. And right around here in the middle, we might have some competition. Might be a perfect excuse too. Uh, what I'm looking forward to is actually aggroing some of these guys and getting rid of some of our more. There you go. That one broke. Perfect. Some of our lower quality things here. The gun, I still want to leave, even though it's lower quality. Like, a, a gun's still a gun, you know what I mean? But, what are you? You're an airdrop. Know what I mean? I know what I mean. You're an airdrop. Are you going to have anything good for me, or are you going to disappoint me? <laughs> like the weapon crate that we opened. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Hello. I think that's a sign from the last day on Earth gods. If we got some rubber parts out of this, I think that it's the gods of last day on Earth. You know, the gods that put a zombie apocalypse on our people. But I think it's the gods saying like, yo, Star, my man, dude, take a break, chill, get a weapons crate, and let's have a little bit of fun. 
And you know what? I'm going to have to agree with the gods of Last Day on Earth because they started a zombie apocalypse. So they're probably pretty freaking dope. And no, let's do that. Let's hit drive. And voila. Perfect. Snuck on out of there before they could do anything to us. I think there's a chance that there might be like more chests on the airdrops too. Don't quote me on that. I think there's a chance we could get a chest or something. But eh, if we don't, if we don't have to, we don't have to. 30 second run. 10 minute drive. I wonder if there's a shorter walk we could take. Uh, not really. No, no, like this would take 17 energy. Yeah, yeah, I think we're gonna have to settle on just driving on over here. That's not too bad. Shouldn't be too much gas. We'll pick up what we can. We'll go and cash out on that thing. I think we need like why I'll, I'll bring a couple things because my memory is that of a I always say it's a goldfish. Let's be honest at this point. It's probably devolved into a dead goldfish that you flush down the toilet. You know, give it a burial at sea. <laughs> a burial at toilet. Uh, yeah, but we're going to hopefully get something better than a toilet when we go there. And I'm just going to get all that stuff with my poopy memory. Poopy memory. Woo! So check it out. Another awesome thing about the fact that we finally finished the chopper is that I now have these four wooden planks back to do other stuff with, including maybe put the ATV down on. Although, are we even high enough level for the ATV? Or do we still have a little bit of work till we get there? Are we not? No, there's no way. I had to have glanced over it. That bear trap's pretty cool too. There it is. There's the ATV. Uh, yeah, all we need, we could probably craft it today, although I kind of want that to be the topic of the next video. And we are stockpiling on some stuff to put it together. I don't know if it's actually craftable yet. I'm really hoping that it is because it looks so dope. But, you know, we'll figure that out later. But I don't remember exactly what I needed. I know I needed five rubber parts. And after that, I think it was like nuts and bolts. Maybe some rubber. I, I don't know. I think it was like wiring. And maybe one other thing. If I see it, you know, it might jog my memory. Maybe it was a transistor. Yeah, actually, maybe it was transistor, so I might grab the rest of those, and I just remember it's kind of like that second tier of loot. You guys know what I'm talking about? Kind of the tier where it's like, it's not quite, it's not like the random stuff that you harvest. Like this stuff, all, like, I think you guys know what I'm talking about with that kind of like tier, like the slightly better random loot. Like, it's still kind of like random crap that you find, but, you know, it's kind of like, oh, I'll take that random crap. I'll take that random crap to the bank. Uh, but where is my last layer of rent? Ah, there it is. The wires. I think that should cover. Ooh, I should also put the gun away. But I don't have room for that, so I'll just leave it on us. We're not gonna get a ton of stuff anyways. Like, we're going over there for a weapons crate, so... I don't think that's gonna do it. But check this out. This just gives us so much more ability to do stuff. And this is what I'm talking about. If we found an airdrop or something right now, this would have been the perfect opportunity to just drive over there. Because now's the time when we've... Not airdrop. Plane crashes. Now's the time where a plane crash would pop up. It's when your stamina is super low, usually. And you can't really make that run there and back. And that's where the chopper's just like, yo, my brody, I got you. And right now, I just want to make it to the dealer back in time because I went on a bit of an adventure. Found some more rubber parts and the chopper's like, yo, brody, I got you. And all you got to do is use fuel, which honestly, I really hope is going to be craftable in the future. That would be so awesome. But honestly, even if it's not, you can still get a pretty good amount of it over in the bunker. And I think sometimes you could find it in airdrops and the other thing with the other name. Oh, look at that. Riding on in from that angle. Let's check up on our friend, the trader. Mr. Trader, I got something for you. Do you have something for me? So, you know what sucks, though? It looks like he'd be so much cooler. He has all of this stuff that it looks like he's willing to trade. And they just walk up to him and he's like, I need these very specific things. And you're like, um... About that, Mr. Trader. About that. Uh, I'm going to actually split this in half just to be safe. Don't want to kind of overput anything. want to put the exact number, you know, just in case it, the, the game decides to poop on us or something. Or just be like, yeah, I'm taking all of it. And I'll be like, oh, well, that sucks. There we go. We can put all that together. Let's execute the trade. Execute the trade. All right. Let's let's reorganize everything here. Make sure all's good. Step out. Step away from the trader. I don't want, I don't want to accidentally shoot him out of anger when it turns out this is a scam. Oh, deep breaths. No whammy. No whammy. No whammy, stop! Oh, are you serious? Yeah, so that's the sucky thing about this stuff, man. It's not always worth it. Like, it seems like it is just the chance at a gun. But other times, you spend all that good stuff, and all you get is a spike devastator, which... I mean, it's not that awful, but... But, 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 like... 
the machete is already better, and I have so many machetes back at home. But other than that, I think that's a good point for us to go ahead and end it off. If you guys want to see me ever unbox more stuff like that, make sure to stay tuned. Let me know in the comments. And for real, if you guys want me to do that video showing off how to get free coins and also how to get um, what you call and how to also like use those free coins on weapon crates and stuff definitely let me know in the comment section or by hitting that like button i'm working on it i want to make this video as good as possible right so definitely let me know that there's interest and hopefully i can hook you guys up and it'll be awesome for everyone involved but that's gonna do it for me for now thank you guys a whole ton for watching ever so a fan freaking fantastic day and i'm gonna go ride my motorcycle back on home because riding the motorcycle is so freaking awesome that's gonna do it for me this was a fan freaking fantastic day and i'll talk to you in the next one see you